Hello there, good people. I'm the son of a gun again, and uh, today I come back to you. And uh, today, what I happen to be talking about is nothing other than the mass shootings in America. It happens to be called the Harb of Security sometimes. The superpowers of the world and. Uh, if I started narrating or breaking down who exactly they are, I would never, I would lose myself onto that journey. But today is not what I'm going to be really talking about. What I'm talking about is the mass shootings. Now, less than two months, someone walked to a concert and opened fire on people at a concert. <laughs> open fire at people at a concert understand the casualties were 50 and then maybe the dead people were quite many and in less than 3 months here happens to be now another one who walks to a church and opens again fire now um, the FBI assistant director is saying is anger these people are angry uh, others is, and then he also said maybe it's also drug the drug use drug abuse that these people also get angry and then also the loneliness depression actually depression cause they, they believe depression is causing this but America is a first world country. And I will not say it is paradoxic, but it's a first world country. And we expect them not to be as depressed as we who live in the third world countries. But they get depressed and they even get to kill each other. At a big scale, at a large scale, someone gets up and plans to go and finish off more than 10 people. I cannot slaughter a chicken. Someone gets up and points a gun, poo, one, poo, two, three, poo, what? until there are quite many. You see blood gush onto the walls, splash into the walls, and you keep squeezing that trigger. Anyway, all that can happen but haven't Americans now woken up or down, I mean, it down to them, downed on them, and they really need a more strict gun control policy? What else are you waiting for? Are you waiting for your population to dwindle down because of gunmen that hover around the streets with guns? What is so hard with you guys getting up and saying no more guns onto the streets, no more open shops for guns? Because honestly speaking, if having shops that transact in guns and sell guns openly is making you people lose a hundred people due to gun violence, why don't you do something? I have a friend of mine who got up and said, maybe the Americans have come to realize, uh, the American administrators have come to realize that, oh, it is bad. But because I always call Americans spoiled children, I call it a home of spoiled children. Now, the way you're going to fix a vice in a home where there are spoiled children is different from a way that you will fix it in a home where children are not spoiled, where children are a good manner that well behaved. So my friend was telling me that the best way maybe to do this is maybe find these people, tell them, go kill them, shoot them so that they may get to understand that, oh, this is really bad this is really bad and then maybe because the last time 
I was looking at a program on CNN and Barack Obama was breaking down to tears. But there were so many Americans who were saying, no, let us have these shops open. Trust me, this is, this has happened in between a period of two months. Trust me, we're not going to spend another year without having another gun violence in America. And they're just looking on. So are you trying to tell me that it's so complex? It's so intri in intricate to, f to make sure that this violence is stopped? What is going on? Don't you really think that us believing that the government has a hand in this is not far-fetched? Really? So, I really think you American administrators, save your people. Save your people if you are not responsible for this gun violence. Save your people. Otherwise, try to be... I mean, this democracy thing of yours, it never works. We understand it's more of a way of hoodwinking the world, but it never works. So, if democracy is making you lose loved ones, lose husbands, sisters, brothers, children, how about you fix it? It's been a great pleasure speaking to you again. I've been the son of a gun. Good evening.